Welcome back gentlemen, today we will be looking at Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines. I will be referring to this city as CDO simply because the pronunciation will be different every time I say it. CDO is a well-known city located in northern Mindanao and is approximately 5 hours and 30 minutes away from Davao City by bus. Basaya is the prominent language spoken in CDO with Tagalog being the second followed by English. However, fear not. As similar to other modernized cities in the Philippines, there are many English speakers within the city. One common question is how to get from Davao City to Cagayan de Oro. There are several ways to travel from Davao City to CDO. The fastest and most convenient is to fly. Other options include private taxis, driving your own vehicle and the regular public buses. With the flights, it seems that there are not many direct flights in this current COVID-19 era. Private transportation is the next option to travel from Davao City to CDO and it's best to negotiate with local taxi drivers who will be happy to drive as long as the price is right. In addition, because drivers will need to drive back to the main city, whether that be CDO or Davao City, they may ask for extra money for gasoline for the return journey. Another common method is to drive your own vehicle. The prices to rent a car tend to be between 1,000 pesos and 2,000 pesos a day, but this depends on the make and the model. The last option is by bus. Bus times start at 3.10 a.m. and operate every 30 or 40 minutes or so and the bus stops around 1.30 p.m. The price of which is currently 480 pesos. So now let's take a look at the cost of living in Cagayan de Oro in the Philippines. To live comfortably in Cagayan de Oro, Philippines, a single adult will need between 1,200 to 1,500 US dollars a month. This is the equivalent equivalent of 60 to 75,000 pesos. However, those who have an expensive lifestyle may wish to budget around $2,000 a month, but at the same time, there are also budget-friendly living opportunities in CDO. If you have a basic lifestyle, you may find that the costs of living in CDO are very similar to that of Davao City. Condominium prices in CDO tend to be around 15 to 20,000 pesos for a studio and between 20 to 30,000 pesos for a large one bedroom unit. You may also find that there are several nice modern houses within the 12 to 15,000 peso mark and even some cheaper units if you can live outside of the main city. You can also find a place within the city as low as 5,000 pesos to 8,000 pesos. However, there is a significant drop in quality. Another common question in Cagayan de Oro is the transportation. The great news is there are several forms of transportation, both public and private. The cheapest form of transportation in CDO is a Jepney and this usually starts around 7 pesos. Most foreigners living in the city tend to enjoy the experiences of public transportation such as Jepneys. Therefore, their overall cost for transportation in CDO remains low. If you are looking to go further afield, Cagayan de Oro has an airport and a ferry that is used to take trips to Cebu or other parts of the Philippines. Another hot topic is dating. Dating is an interesting topic, especially when looking at cities such as CDO in the Philippines. Apart from Isle of Asia, I also manage a website called Filipino Wealth that helps businesses start in the Philippines. And over the years, I've noticed a growing trend in search phrases and views about dating in CDO. After speaking to locals, they informed me that most people in general are slightly more conservative compared to cities such as Cebu or Manila. So, with all these growing trends, it seems that the Mindanao area is becoming a hotspot for dating in the Philippines. Pina Love is a common dating website in this area, and I've added the exclusive link in the description below for more information. Additionally, Facebook dating is also becoming more used in recent times. 